Okay, so in this in this first diary, the number one diary, I just want to share really with the starting point really. And the starting point is about you've come up with a great idea and you've got a you've got this great vision and um, and there's, there's three key the three key parts to the starting point. One is really to identify who you need around you to support that vision to get it up and started because you can't do it all on your own. You know, I can't do it on my own. You know, I've I've managed several large businesses. I've you know worked with solopreneurs and large businesses with their strategy sessions and stuff like that. Started two individual businesses. Um, started a partnership with with three other business partners. So even though I've got that wealth experience. I I really quickly realised that I needed support with this because it's a lot bigger. I can't do it all. I'm still a marketing director of Next Gear Partners, so I've still got the the big collaboration Essex Group that I run. So I've got a lot of other commitments, and I can't commit 100% of my time to this. Um, but equally, it's important it's vision, and it's something that I want to get out there. So the very first part is about really identifying who you need around you to make it happen. And and do you know what? If you get your if you share the vision with them, and you and they get it, they, they will get involved. It's not about the paying them money, it's not about um, you know giving away the whole business to them. You know, I've taken, and the whole point of this diary is really to give you a real behind the scenes of growing this business from where we are now, just, just the idea and getting the idea started to actually when we open the first the first store, hopefully in, in March next year. So you're gonna get access, you know, document that whole that whole journey with us and it's it's really important that you just get that that believe in that vision you know and you and and they want they they just see that and for you you've your first is when you get them to believe in that vision is then you've got to keep them dreaming about that vision and what you're getting to and then start but just surround yourself with the right people you need around you i quickly identified three areas that i really needed support with um and and I'm you know and it's great that we've got them on board. We have a, a directors meeting, you know, with two other directors, two of, two of them three are directors. They've you know come on board. We had that first sort of kind of official directors meeting, I suppose, yesterday. So here's a time lapse of that. Yeah, and that was really the start, and that's why I thought I start these diaries because that meeting yesterday really felt like the idea, the vision, the idea that I had three years ago is really starting to come. It's get it's getting traction now, and actually when I looked, I thought about it yesterday, I've actually already come quite far to get where we are, and um, and it's just going to be very exciting now. Um, we've got the third person on board as well, David. So we've got Andy and Diane, and Andy's my creative director. Uh, Diane's going to be operations director. We've got the concession manager on board, David, um, with the, the coffee and stuff like that. So it's um, it's all coming together really well. And so that's my the first thing is really surround yourself with the right people that you need to make it happen. And they've got to believe in the vision. If they don't believe in the vision, they're not the right people to have around. You need to go and get someone else. You don't want to mean it just doing it for the money. They've got to do it for the vision as well. Um, the second aspect is once you've got these people involved, you've got to take a collaborative approach with them. Um, the reason why you got these people involved, I want these people, is because they're probably the best people you know around you that can help you get this project on the go and get your idea into reality. And that is with me. The people involved are the people that I feel are the exact people I need in reality. And the reason I chose them is because they're good at what they do. So now, it's no point me saying to like Andy right I want you to come on board as a creative director I've got to you know help me with the brand and the vision and all this and and then rolling it out um, and then controlling him as a boss thinking of him right I've got him on board he's working for me as a boss no for me you've got to have that collaborative approach where it's now I've got to allow him he's great at what he does and I've got to allow him to do what he's great at and create that environment that he can be the best that he can possibly be, and um, and and, and that's, a, that's a quote that Angela might make beats if you're watching Angela High. Um, 
that's a quote that Angela said about being collaboration allows it to be the best it can be and that's the environment I've got to create for them it's got to create a real collaborative approach where they feel they're working we're all working together that I'm not just barking always got right well, I want you to get involved but I'm going to be your boss and bark orders at you they need to feel they're part of it that is we're all in it together and it's our project now and not just mine so that's the second stage once you've got your first people in the people you want and you've got them involved take a collaborative approach allow them do what they're good at don't stifle them don't control them don't try and think oh they work for you now you know it might be on paper that you know that i'm the founder manager director and just create of it and there's a hierarchy within that but in reality we're in it together and we've all got our roles and responsibilities that we'll have within that but i've got to allow them i've got to create an environment to allow them to do what they're great at otherwise there's no point in getting them involved the third one is when you start sharing your idea with people and and you've got this business idea and this is what you're doing you've got working on this project now and this is what it is even people that you think are going to be quite um supportive or give you little nuggets which of help um are going to poo poo your idea um and they're going to poo poo it with silly little things like oh but fingers already doing that already or um what's the point of doing you know how you gonna make money how you're gonna do this how you gonna do that and do you know what with them people that just ignore it i found myself when i first started sharing this idea with a few people that i had to them i was then justifying what i said you know they would question me on a couple of things and i'd say oh no but blah 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 and then i'd be if i'm sort of justifying it and do you know what no yeah beep boop them you okay yeah i think you know what it is so just just that you know just just ignore them just think okay cool you know and you, you know, some of it you might think so someone might say yeah but what about blah 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 and you think well actually i didn't think about that i need to think but don't let it drag down your vision you know and don't let them don't let it become a problem just think well, okay i didn't think of that but that's a good one well we've researched that we'll talk about that but don't let it become don't let it poo poo your idea at all just then people are the people that can't think as big as you it's um it's funny the sort of people that poo poo your ideas with stupid little things like that and they think they're helping by challenging you but actually it's probably more about the limitations but do you know what when they've got their own projects their own ideas all of a sudden they want everyone else to go oh that's amazing that's great you know how can i help you how can i support you who can i tip you know they want that but actually when it comes to listening to other people's ideas they just poo poo them um so ignore them so there's the three things to start this this number one diary to get you started is about and is get get people involved get get when you get clear on your vision share the vision with the people you want involved that can help you and make it happen take a collaborative approach to making it happen because otherwise it, people just get and um, and normally at the start people will be doing it for the love of them you know the love of it and the love of the vision rather than the money at the start so you know why if they're just working for you and you're barking always and it's just only it's only a case of when they're going to just walk away and know look i can i might as well go and do this on myself you know um so take a collaborative approach and free the people with poo-poo ideas just <laughs> them so See you on the next story. Stay positive.